We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hotep, and welcome to another episode number 145. Focus is boring. Yes, live and direct with your host with the most, Haru the Modern Monk. Your cannabis fitness strategist back at it again here with you here to activate the understanding and the wisdom that you may have within you. What they say wisdom is action. So let's put it to action. Billions in form per day keep the stupidity away. Episode 145. Focus is boring. Now, it's been a while since I've been back live and direct on the live (laughs) podcast show where I'm going to be going more indirect, more deeper into subject matters per se on my new online platform that I have available to exclusively men focused on young men, men, elder men, um, variety of ages as they would say it's kind of giving you more insight on becoming the best version of yourself now focus is boring what do I mean by that focus has a tendency to allow you to eliminate procrastination Eliminate just staying busy, right? Now, what do I mean by focus? Let's define focus. Focus is defined a noun, the center of interest or activity. This generation has made our environment a focus of attention. The state or quality of having or producing a clear visual definition. His face is rather out of focus. Of a person in their eyes adapt to the prevailing level of light or becoming able to see clearly. Try to focus on a stationary object. Pay particular attention to. The study will focus on a number of areas in Wales. Right? So... When you really start pinpointing what focus really means, we really start getting down to what is the true meaning of focus. So I want you to think. I want you to start comprehending. I want you to start allowing yourself to learn the ability to focus. And focus has its, it has its place. It actually comes from an understanding of concentration, an understanding of um attention you feel what i'm saying and these principles are universal principles if you with me these are universal principles focus is a universal principle is a point of concentration a point of concentration to direct your attention to improvise taking a deep breath taking a deep breath and letting your environment take the center stage right allow the world around you to capture your attention And let it guide your thoughts and emotions. This is what focus really comes down to. Now, I have been in a situation right now where I've been focusing on building me. Building my character. Building new behaviors. Building new habits or positive habits to becoming more of a valued man. This is what I'm working on. The future self, right? As Benjamin Hardy would say, Dr. Benjamin Hardy would say, working on your future self. And that's what I've been basically doing. A lot of people haven't been hearing from me. It's been a while since I've been on the, you know, the social media doing all this other non, (laughs) I think, non work that's really kind of keep you distracted. That's why I say focusing is boring to an extent. You know, but what it is, what what I love about focusing, it improvises or it gives you that excitement. You feel me? It gives you that excitement and keeps you passionate 
to what those particular venues or particular projects that you want to focus on on becoming your better self or becoming your future self so what are some of the things like I said what are some of the things that you that we experience when it comes to like focusing you know focusing keeps us in a non-procrastination state right it keeps you occupied and limiting a certain state of mind or limiting a certain project that you want to complete. That's what focus really means. It means a completion of a project, a completion of a task, and fully going through it, keeping your focus, keeping your attention. With all these distractions, we know there's plenty of distractions. I talk about this on the podcast show in earlier episodes, about how we have all these distractions that's keeping us away from our focus or keeping us away from who we are becoming or want to become. You know, a lot of us agree. A lot of us don't want to do this. A lot of us just want to get by in life, as they would say. Just get by. Even a gentleman was talking about fake it till you make it. You know, and I think it has its place, but then it doesn't has its place too when you think about it. Fake it till you make it. You know, because you have to stay focused on whatever it may be. And see, and that's the key thing. Whatever your focus is on, that's where your attention will be on, right? I mean, you figure the average person is not, their focus or their attention span is so short, you really couldn't do anything. Now they get studies right now where it's like, you do it for 10 minutes a day, you'll, you'll be better than the average person. Yeah, better than the average person. Not that elite 1% or that elite of genius, right? And you all have the ability. That's what's crazy about. We all have the ability to access that genius mentality. But most of us don't want to even use that. Don't even want to go to that level. You know, because we're, we're worrying about what everybody else think of us. Oh, they really think I do this, or I'm this type of person, or this, that, and the third. We want to get validated. That's another thing I notice when you when you're um, when you're not focusing, right? <laughs> you're worried about permission to do something. And like I said, we're gonna be going deeper into more the learning curve of how focus works within your lifestyle. What is it doing for you? How is it adding value to you? That's the really key element. Because see, when, when you have focus, it actually allows you to build value, right? To build value. Losing focus is a common struggle that we all face at some point in our lives. And when we do lose focus, it's easy to become fixated on what's wrong instead of what's right. How many of us go through that? Think about that. You know? But this is a trap that we must avoid at all costs. When we focus slowly, solely on what's wrong, we lose sight of our strengths and abilities. How many of us go through that? How many of us witness that? I was just looking at a a movie, a documentary on uh, Lee Kemp. It was interesting because I never knew about this gentleman. And I come from a wrestling background, right? I wrestled from uh, elementary, junior high, high school to college level, right? And I was a you know a national um, all American state champion, and um, and it was interesting. This gentleman Lee Kemp, the perseverance, the the you know what he went through just to. His story, right? His story. I mean, he beat Dan Gable. Those of you who know Dan Gable is, this is like the man. You know what I'm saying? When you're talking like the Olympic champion, the guy who never lost in high school, never lost in college. I mean, this guy was phenomenal. And Kemp was the same way. He was the first to do it. He was the first one to beat Dan Gable. And Dan Gable came out of retirement. Let me just... (laughs) Let me just say it that way. This this brother was phenomenal 
And that's the crazy thing. He held records for decades, literally decades. So these are things, like I said, but one of the things I can say about him and about when you actually allow yourself to focus, right? When you focus on certain tasks, focus on certain projects, you tend to succeed. You will succeed when you focus. But like I said, it's a trap because you, a lot of times you don't really, when you're non-focused, a lot of times you're not really paying attention to your strengths and abilities or what you do have or what the value you do bring to the table. You know what I'm saying? And how many times are we taking the time to actually ask people, what are you, what, how, how, how are you evaluating, are you allowing people to at least evaluate your progress or evaluate some of the skills and abilities that you actually portray or give out or tend to people see what you have the ability to do, right? We forget positive actions we can take to overcome obstacles and achieve our goals, right? And see, and when it comes to our goals, our goals got to be specific. You know what I'm saying? And you can go with the, the SMART analogy or acronym whatnot with goals as well but when you really breaking down your goals it should be three goals three focus goals it should be something to build you build your character right keeping your body tight your health and wellness then obviously being able to relate to relations your relations or business wise your your soft skills right <laughs> okay Instead of dwelling on mistakes and shortcomings, we must shift our focus to the actions we can take to move forward. We must remind ourselves of our skills or knowledge in our past successes. This is reflecting, taking the time to reflect back on your successes that you had in the past that actually were successful, that you can use in today's environment or your now environment right we must remind ourselves of our knowledge and our past successes we must believe in ourselves and trust that we have the power to overcome any challenge that's what's so beautiful about life too because if you're willing to take those steps and to focus on you or to focus on your future self you tend to succeed. It might not be as quick as you want it, that fast gratification mentality, right? What we tend to get grasp on due to our, our social environment, our environment in general, if that environment is more giving, if that environment is more prosperous, because a lot of times our environment is not as prosperous as we want it to be. And therefore, picking the right friends, picking the right relationships, being in these certain situations that are more giving, more understanding, more receiving of goodness, right? Uh, it's not always easy to maintain this positive focus, especially when you're faced with setbacks and obstacles. By cultivating a mindset of resilience and determination, we can train ourselves to stay focused on the right actions and keep moving forward no matter what, right? No matter what you go through, no matter what obstacles that you got to see in front of you, you got to get over them. You got to overcome them. And this is where focus tend to be boring, right? Because you're like, I want to see results. I want to get results, but I don't know how to get the results. But you got to keep it pushing. You can't just quit on you just can't quit. You know what I'm saying? Successful people don't quit. They keep it moving. They just keep it moving. Don't take me wrong. There's some things that you may need to quit because it ain't actually giving you the benefits that you, like even a toxic relationship. If the relationship is not growing, obviously it's time to move on, right? And we all have experienced some time in our lives this particular situation. <laughs> Um, so let us remember that losing focus is just temporary setbacks. That's what I'm saying about 
focus can be boring, but it's these setbacks that we experience, right? But let us choose to focus on our strengths and abilities and the positive actions we can take to achieve our goals and outcomes by taking the necessary steps for yourself. See, and this is where reflection comes in. You know what I'm saying? Always assessing, always evaluating yourself, where you at, where you need to go, where's the steps that I need to take. What they say, uh, back engineering, taking, you know, going backwards from the task at hand and going backwards, working backwards with that. Right? With this mindset, we can overcome obstacles and reach our full potential. This is where that flow concept come in, that they always talk about that flow, the flow, the energy, the, the, the alpha state, right? The alpha state, what we tend as athletes become in this particular mindset where everything just on point, you're just hitting it, you're just hitting it, you're just on the level. And like I said, I always use my example. I was like in, in blood sport when Van Damme, well, Frank Duke at the time, as the actor of Frank Duke, <laughs> was in that zone of consciousness, was in that zone of what do I need to do? How do I need to do? I see the vision. I see the outcome, a positive outcome. This is what we need, tend to do with our focus or the flow concept. And we'll be discussing a little bit more about flow in future podcast shows as well as written articles. Because a lot of times I go deeper into my written articles like I just with my new newsletter that I've been offering. That is free. (laughs) That you can actually go deeper into these particular subject matters that I be touching on within the podcast show, right? So we'll discuss it later, the flow concept. Use the state of mind subconsciously and consciously. Focusing your attention requires discipline and practice, right? 10 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day. You know what I'm saying? Or actions that actually are building upon your strengths. Not necessarily your weaknesses, but see one of the things too, I've been in this sabbatical mindset, I've been working on how to learn. How do I learn better? How do I learn more effectively? You know what I'm saying? How do I focus my attention where I'm giving that full attention, even if it's five minutes, but it's five minutes full attention on what that task may be or that project that I want to succeed on, you know. And then the crazy thing is working this, really working on keeping some type of balance within that. I've been working with two, thanks to Dr. Boz Moreno, shout out to my brother, for giving me access to another young gentleman out there, uh, Dan Cole, and Justin Welch, they have been very instrumental in helping with my focus or my determined efforts to relate and add more value and more thought and more in-depth of these assignments I have been doing or these projects I've been taking on far as to, you know, more digging deep into neuroscience, you know, neuro-linguistic programming, understanding how people think, hypnosis, you know what I'm saying? Mysterious, uh, you know, going deeper into the mindset of how we think consciously, subconsciously, you know, the Joseph Murphys, the Neville Gardner, Garden, Uh, You know, the Nikola Teslas. These are certain things that I'm very passionate about and want to dig deep into these subject matters because it creates a focus, but it creates an understanding of where my mind is going and how I want to help more people. You know what I'm saying? I want to invest in more people, therefore investing in myself 
and my services. You feel where I'm coming from? So focus life is the only life. Let me repeat that. Focus life is the only life and the only benefits that you will prosper with. You feel what I'm saying? Because everything you you the manifestation is attracted by the essence or the power that you're putting into that project, right? And you obviously you're going to get your your haters, you're going to get that energy too as well. But it's what you do with it, my brothers and sisters. That's the key thing is what you do with it. How you take it, how you enjoy, how you how yeah, how you ingest it, how you take upon it, how you digest it. That's really the key element and how you use it for more higher frequencies, more higher vibrations, more higher energy, right? So the concept of equation has been coming. This this is the, this concept of focus is boring. This is something a question I've been asking people. You know, focus is boring. Why? Tell me why focus can be boring to you. You know, because focus has its benefits. It's kind of like a one man plant, one man band, right? But we can do it. You can do it. It's obviously it can be done, but you still need your comrades. You still need your team, right? High quality work produced, time spent, intensity of focus, as Carl Newport would say in deep work. This is a reminder to making this focus process a daily and mental practicing practice by developing more focused living or living your lifestyle in a more focused type habit, type mentality, giving yourself the ability, giving yourself the room to be successful, to live successful, to live to a point where everything, look, like a brother was, I was watching a video the other day, it was interesting because he was saying, make, making your life more memorable, doing things that like you'll never do, right? You'll never do, but just going out and doing it. That's what I usually do. I just go travel somewhere or go to a different neighborhood or something. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Whatever kind of push your, grind your gears, as <laughs> as old boy and family guy would say, right? In a world filled with endless distractions, improving our abilities to concentrate with intensity is essential. Literally, it's essential. But it's not always easy to stay focused when there are so many temptations varying and trying to occupy your attention. Even like these women, it's some beautiful women out there. You know what I'm saying? It's some beautiful women out there and they can distract you so much. A relationship can be so distraction unless that relationship is more of an additive for you to grow. You feel what I'm saying? But other than that, you don't even want to deal with that. And that comes with business as well or any type of other aspect or additive, right? So I see how these one-man business or one-person business models work. It makes more sense because you're creating value, right? You're developing value. You're creating jobs. Literally, you're creating jobs for people to dive, deep dive into subject matters that you're actually going into, right? So then you're, you're working on overcoming these desires for these distractions, right? You must first recognize the power of concentration. And we talked about this too. And we're going to go back deeper into this subject matter, concentration. Because concentration, it's a balance of focus. It's a balance of attention. It's kind of similar, right? 
but the power or the laws or the principles of these particular subject matters go deeper because it's all about subconsciously or conscious, right? The mind, deep, deep, deep diving into the mind, how the mind works, how the, how the environment is impacting your mind and what that environment should look like, right? When you're fully immersed in a task or an activity, you can achieve a sense of flow that allows you to excel and to produce your best work as you are experiencing, experimenting, or learning from that lesson, right? Because what's crazy about it, all relationships, all your in encounters, think about this, all your encounters and relationships, you learn a lesson from these particular people, right? You might not think about it, but you tend to get them. You tend to learn these lessons, how people work, what type of mindset you're up against, you know? Do you really want to be a part of that other person? But to reach this level of concentration, you must train yourself to ignore the distractions that pull you away from your goals. Because there's a lot of distractions that pull you away from your goals, literally. And this is a daily daily issue unless you just at home and you ain't really doing anything <laughs> you know or you in that little circuit or whatever you want to call it you must learn to resist the urge to check your phones scrolling through social media and all that other bs that you do you know what i'm saying because it's amazing how it just keep you it keeps your mind occupied and you look at the clock and it'd be like three hours you done been on here Scrolling down Instagram or scrolling down Facebook or whatever social media you with, TikTok or whatever the case may be. <laughs> you must be disciplined and committed to your work, even when it feels difficult or boring. You know what I'm saying? That's why you give yourself a time limit. You set yourself for 25 minutes, then you let yourself chill for about 5, 15, take a break. And do it in sections, kind of like the athletes, how athletes do certain things. Balance your time. Work it in the morning. Get busy in the morning. Do a few hours in the morning. Then rest. Get your replenish. Get that body ready. You know, then maybe do a few more hours later on in the afternoon or right when you get ready to go to bed. Whatever, you know, toot your train or whatever they call, whatever they be saying these days. <laughs> Improving your ability to concentrate with intensity requires practice and patience. That's another thing I think we don't really pay attention, especially when you're in this type of work that I'm doing, where I'm really focusing on my articles. I'm focusing on deep diving within certain subject matters, not just doing a podcast show, but I'm actually writing on the subject matter too and exploring certain venues or avenues of these subject matters that I think a lot of us ignore because you be wondering, okay, a lot of people talk about balance, right? But balance is not really balance. Balance is a lifestyle that it seem or it's a perception that is balance, right? That's why I think tend for people tend to be, and like I said, relationships can be very distracting too. It can take you off your track, take you off track. Or it can put you on track. It depends on where you want to go. You know what I'm saying? Or what you want to do in your life, as the brother would say in future self. You must first start small, setting aside short periods of time to focus on a single task or activity. Gradually, you can increase the length of focus in sessions, building your concentration muscles, and reducing your desire for distractions. With dedication and persistence, that's really the key, dedication and persistence, you can develop the habit of deep concentration and achieve your goals with greater ease and success, right? So commit to improving your abilities to concentrate, to focus, to pay attention with intensity and say goodbye 
to all them distractions once and for all, right? Say goodbye to them because you tend to start developing better habits, more effective habits, as Atomic Habits would put it. James Clear. Because it's definitely a challenge to set new habits, to build new habits, and put appropriate triggers that will enhance, that will embrace your focus, that will embrace your attention, that will embrace your concentration or the power of concentration. So develop deep work for focus ritual habits daily. Even if, even if you're working a full-time job, it still requires you to take some time to meditate during your breaks. Take some time during your lunch. Take this time to focus on what needs to be focused on you. How you can build better habits within those particular focus periods of time. Focus is boring. And this is why. So I'm going to continue this subject matter via on an article. You, This article is available on my website as it will be stated. And I would like to make this conclusion. Three tips to developing deep focus you can start today. Let's be honest, in today's world, it's hard to stay focused. <laughs> I would agree with that a million percent. With our phones buzzing every other minute and every and never-ending to-do list. Y'all know how we up here making lists every day, trying to get this, trying to get that. But so disorganized, cluttered. You know, our minds are cluttered, our rooms are cluttered, our lives are cluttered. Right? <laughs> How are we supposed to find time for deep focus? When do you supposed to find time for deep focus? Well, fear not, my friends, for I have three tips that can help you start developing deep focus today and now. Right? First tip set designated times for your work and stick to them no matter what. <laughs> Please stick to them. No more checking your notifications mid-project. Just focus on your design work and stick to it till the end. Second, eliminate distractions. Turn your phones off. Turn the notifications off. Turn the computer off. Unless you're using the computer, turn the notifications off your computer. Put a non-disturb, don't disturb on your room door from your, your, you know, family members, not to distract you. You're in your, you're, you're taking your time. That means saying goodbye to your social media feeds and chatter of co-workers, because that's another issue that we tend to dive into. Practice, your third one is practice mindless. Look, practice mindless, practice mindfulness, right? Practice it. Take a few deep breaths. Clear your mind, clear your heart, clear your soul. Take time for you. Build you, build your understanding, build your body, get your health right. That's really, really, really what it comes down to. Get your health right. Then you start focusing, eating right. And that, that all comes with that, your nutrition, you know. Hope you found this helpful. Like I said, I have a full article and this will be a continued subject matter that I think will be revisit throughout time. But improve your well-being. This is this is the whole point of this podcast show is to improve your well-being. Building better men, building better women. You know what I'm saying? To become more focused, understanding of a, living a lifestyle that you truly deserve. You know what I'm saying? That you truly deserve. Not harming anybody, not hurting anybody, but building you to the best of your abilities. You feel what I'm saying? Until next time, much love, peace, and happiness. I'm out of here. Hotel. 
Are you looking to take your fitness and wellness to the next level? Do you want to learn from the best trainers and coaches in the industry? From the comfort of your own home? Look no further than You Are The Gym Club Academy online courses. Our courses offer a comprehensive and personalized approach to fitness and wellness with expert guidance and support every step of the way. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, we have courses that suit your needs and goals. From strength training and conditioning to mental health to mindfulness. And the best part, you can access our courses anytime, anywhere, on any device. With our flexible and convenient online platform, you can learn at your own pace and on your own schedule, making it easier than ever to prioritize your health and wellness. So what are you waiting for? Invest in yourself and join the You Are The Gym Club Academy community today at youarethegymclubacademy.onlinecoursehost.com. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message.